Hello everyone, good day, how are you doing? It's been a while on this channel, I know right. Okay, um, in today's video, I will be putting you through how to make use of the ADN implant Swift plugin for, for slab measurement. Now, we did a video before which consists of just measuring the slab, but that is in the situation where we just have a single kind of bar. Now, if you're having a bar um, detail like this, like the slab details for reinforcement, looking like something like this now you have to pick all of those reinforcement bars one by one that means using the either the bending schedule or using the details which is the slab details for every reinforcement bar on this slab now this is something that most of conservators might be familiar with but for those that are not familiar with this don't worry you covered at this point now for us to continue please kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel because this is going to be a very important one as you'll be learning a lot on this channel and kindly and kindly turn on the post notification because more videos will be coming up so you can also receive notifications immediately any of these videos come up thank you now for this kind of bar here you see this this is the number of this bar now if you choose the name this is this detail is for this length here only for this length that means we have this 52 numbers of 12 mm diameter bar on the schedule number is 2 and the spacing is 125 that's the meaning of this and it's just a bottom only slab that means it's a single reinforcement bar and the size of this bar is 12 mm and we have 20, 52 numbers of this on this joint on this on the slab itself now what we we'll do is we we'll just turn come down to the ADLM plugin here we just pick on the frames come down to slab now on this slab here, remember we, are, we used this in the last video, you can always check the videos on reinforcement with Plan Swift where I measured using this tool here. But now we won't be using this tool anymore, we're using this slab reinforcement details here. So you can just turn this on. Now to turn it on, that will be slab reinforcement. Then your numbers of floors, that will be a single floor, since it's just for a single floor, that's a ground floor slab. Then the number of bars, now this is where you pick this number, you see this 52 here. That's what we will be check. So that will just be 52 numbers and the diameter will just be 12. As easy as this, right? Now, once you've done all of this, just click. The, you can just name this Y12 just to differentiate this from others. Now, once you've done this, just click OK. Now, once you've just click OK, just pick from this point here to this point. Now, you see this arc here. I'll use your A, act as your arc tool to just create this arc. Then stop here okay once you've done this this is how you'd go about it then just stop now you see your points take off here you can see that you have these details here this is the details here for this slab that's 72.2 kg for just this bar now let's pick another one here let's say this is also a y12 bar and we have 50 of this at spacing of 150 that's this bar here hmm? Now it's also very simple. You know, this is 50 y 12 bar mark 18 and the spacing is 150. Now all you just do is just turn this on. Once you turn this on here, that will be y 12. Now the number of floors will just be one single floor. Number of bars, remember this plus 50. Then y 12. That's the diameter of this bar, y 12. Okay. Now, once you click on OK, you can just pick from this point down to this point and use your arc. And we have that. See how simple that is. Now, if we are having another type, because that is the purpose of this video, for if we are having multiple types of reinforcement bar. Right? Now, you have this reinforcement bar here. Huh? This is the 22 numbers of Y10 at 200 spacing. That means the length is going across this point. This is it. Hmm? 22 numbers of Y10 at 200 spacing. That means it's between the lane is between this point to this point, but we leave that to the engineers on site to determine that. But our focus now is this reinforcement bar that's between this point here to this point here, and that's 22 numbers of Y10 by Mark 2, and the spacing is 200. Right now, it's very simple at this stage. All you just do is just pick slab reinforcement. Now, once this comes in, this will be 10 or Y10. Just add Y10 as a suffix. Number of floors here that will just be a single floor. Then, the bars, number of bars that will just be 
For this year, that will be 22 numbers of bars and that's 10 mm diameter. You see how simple this is? Very, very simple. So you just, you just click OK. So you just pick from this point here down to the last one, which is over here. And right click and stop. You see, you have your bar width here already as 163.5. So that's how you pick for your reinforcements immediately. Now, the next one is the Y16 on this bar. On this slab right there, there's a Y16 somewhere around here. Okay, this is it. We have a Y16 bar also. That's for three numbers of Y16. So this is a situation where we have so like three different reinforcement bars on this slab. So the previous method which I use, you can always check out, leave the link to that video in the description of this video. So the previous method just covers if you are using just a single type or two types, that's the Y12 or Y10 alone. But we're having a third number here and you need to factor that in, that's why you're going to be using this method, right? Now just click on this slab reinforcement here. Now the plugin is going to ask you, just add the suffix of Y16, then the number of floors make it one floor. Number of bars, that's remember this 43 numbers of bars Y16 bar mark 4 at 150 spacing. So that will be 43. The diameter is 16. Then OK. So just pick from this point here to this point here. And you see, we are good. But this is the weight here 301.9 kg. So that's all you're going to measure for all of the reinforcement bars on this lab after the other. Now, in a situation where you have multiple bars with the same number, like this we have for three numbers of this Y12 here, and we have for three numbers of this Y12 also, right? That means we have two different bars with the same number, so you can just do everything at the same time. That's Y12, then the number of floors will just be one floor, the number of bars, that's for three numbers, right? And the diameter is just 12. So once you've done that, just click OK. So just pick the bars with the similar number that's a similar quantity here that's this so we have to make sure the act comes out very well then we have this bar here also as for three numbers let me see it i think that should be all yeah so just those two now we have 45 here also that's how you go about picking for all of your reinforcement bar here we have 99Y12, I think I saw one 99Y12 also, yeah. So we just turn this on, Y12, number of floors, that's one floor, number of bars, that's 99 numbers, and the diameter is Y12, right. Then, okay, so can I just pick from this point here. Okay. Now let me go into picking all of this reinforcement bars so we can generate the total quantities and the breakdown separate formats. Don't worry, stay tuned to the end of this video as you would see how to generate the total quantities of what you've measured so far. Okay, now you see we've done we're done with this already. We've picked all of the reinforcement bars. Now if you check the list, this is the list of all of the reinforcement bars in this slab already. So now I'm sure many will be like, okay, this is the slab. How are we going to export it and do so many other things with it to your take your billing sheet or whatever or where you need the quantities or your requisition schedule? Okay, that's very easy as we'll be going into that now. Now after you've picked up your measurement, we'll just 
generate the summary of all these reports and bring it out on the report sheet which we'll do now now we have all of this this reinforcement we've measured for all in this folder which is called the slab reinforcement folder which is this so every for every measurement that we've done so far this is the summary of everything you see each of them like this so now that this is a summary and all we have to generate all of this in the report sheet which is very simple as this will be generated automatically with the ADLM report sheet remember that this is a ground floor slab right and where all of this is they are all the reinforcements in the ground floor slab which we are going to generate and I told you we have Y10, Y12 and Y16 which are three types now most of you will feel like it won't be easy for many of you to sort all of this yourself but once you've named it like this just come down to the ADLM plugin report sheet here say so ADLM and meta report now on this sheet here just a single page sheet of paper here now we have the Y16 the entire total for Y16 is given as 1.54 tons that's 1540 kg now for the Y12 also the entire total of that is 16.80 tons that's 16,804 kg now for the Y10 also that's 3.737 tons that's 3,374 kg now once you have all of this here you can always put the the total like if you add up all of this reinforcement bars here the total of everything is the 21.7 so you can either just take the grand total to your bill or you can just pick it based on the size of reinforcement bar so we have the y16 the y12 and the y10 all of this has been done which are generated so you can either export this to your excel you must just include the price for each of this and send it to the subcontractor that's going to put it, provide the reinforcement for this project so that will be all for how to measure slab reinforcement with the adlm plugin don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and turn on your post notification because I post videos like this regularly. Have a wonderful day.